All right, so just like last year, 2023 was loaded with a diverse and unique group of review bikes. And while we couldn't test all of the bikes that either you were requested or that we even wanted to, I think we did a pretty good job of reviewing new bikes and some standout bikes that have been around for a while now. So in this video, we're gonna share our top bikes among the editors here at bikepacking.com. We're also gonna share the Bikepacking uh, Collective Choice Bike Awards voted on by you and some other bikes that are definitely on our radar for 2024. All right, let's do it. All right, so you can find all of the reviews for these bikes as well as a link to the 2023 Bikepacking Gear Awards in the description below. All right, so let's get into the top six bikes we pedaled this year, voted on by the editors here at bikepacking.com. The Stooge MK6 is a rigid bike that Logan recently tested, and he said it comes with a playful yet stable geometry that's nearly perfect for rigid trail riding. So the steel frame and fork are designed to fit 29 by 2.6 inch tires, or 27.5 by three, and comes with an eccentric bottom bracket ready for your single speed needs. And if we had a category for sexiest bikes of the bunch, this might just be it with that beautiful twin top tube. Uh, there were a lot of great bikes to choose from this year, but Logan clearly had many good things to say about the Stooge MK6, including this high praise quote, if someone asked me to pick just one bike to spend the rest of my life with today, it would definitely be this one. All right, so the LVS is Esker's new titanium long wheelbase rig, built around 29 inch wheels, 120 millimeter fork, and a head turning 600 millimeter chain stays. I mean, just look at those things. Both Logan and I actually have the LVS in for review right now, so stay tuned for a full review next month. But each time we get on this bike, we're a little bit surprised. Surprised by the way it pedals up and down, by the way it handles super chunky terrain, and surprised by how much you can actually load on this thing. So the LVS is probably an N plus one bike for most people. Still, when we talk about bike packing bikes made for long days in the saddle carrying your gear for weeks on end and boasting 26 attachment points for adventure accessories, it's really hard not to bring up the LVS in that conversation. All right, so similar to Logan's thoughts on the MK6, the Pipe Dream Series S6 would be my bike of choice if I had to pick one bike for bike packing, trail riding, and everything in between. As I mentioned in my review earlier this month, the Sirius S6 takes the bones of the S5, but all in a lighter, more supple titanium package with loads of mounts. So the frame is built around 29 by 2.6 or 27.5 by 2.8 inch tire clearance and 100 to 120 millimeter 29er fork, but rides much bigger than the fork travel may indicate. So Logan and I absolutely love this style of geometry with that short uh, fork travel, long reach, and short stack as it really helps you kind of feel very locked into the front wheel and the terrain it contacts. The Sirius S6 truly offers a ride quality that I found unmatched on a hardtail frame and it feels even better when loaded up. So before we get any further, I just wanna take a quick moment to let everybody know that this video is supported in part by 45 North. Late fall and early spring weather can be unpredictable and nothing ruins a bike ride like cold feet. And that's where the 45 North Ragnarok comes in to ensure a warm and delightful experience. With a breathable waterproof layer and a neoprene ankle cuff, the Ragnarok not only repels moisture, but is also designed to tackle cold temperatures, boasting a comfort rating of 25 degrees Fahrenheit. If you are in search of a clipless shoe that can handle those tricky shoulder seasons, don't miss out on the Ragnarok. For more information, you can click on the card in the top right corner or also find a link below. Another genuinely incredible bike that I tested this year was the Reeb SST. So the SST is a natural progression if you really want that steel bike but want the benefits of a full suspension bike. And the folks over at Reeb didn't just put together another run-of-the-mill steel bike. It comes with an excellent geometry, 3D printed steel parts, and above class performance that seemingly never had me underbiked, even on some of the most demanding trails in Crested Butte this summer. So everyone we've spoken to who's pedaled the Reeb SST has had nothing but good things to say about it. And 
I might be their biggest fan. So the Black Mountain Cycles La Cabra has received more review requests than any other bike on the site over the past handful of years. And we weren't disappointed after testing one extensively this spring. So the La Cabra not only has a great selection of bike packing provisions, but it possesses a remarkable balance between sure-footed stability and nimble responsiveness that assured its spot in this list. The La Cabra is a drop bar mountain bike with notable hints of mountain bike DNA being built around a 29 by 24 or 27.5 by 2.8 inch tire clearance and boost spacing. Logan mentions it offers light and fast handling and stability. And man, I actually really love the look of this, that peanut butter colorway and that fork is just super easy on the eyes. All right, so I fought to add the Santa Cruz Stigmata to this list, mainly because, well, it's our first carbon bike awarded gear of the year since the Cutthroat in 2019. So to say it left an impression on me is an understatement. The Stigmata, while absolutely stunning, uh, may not look very special from afar. After all, it's a gravel bike that maxes out at 50 millimeter tires. But this is no ordinary gravel bike. And actually, this is the most fun I've had on skinny tires in a really long time. It's progressive geometry, overall quickness, and suspension fork really kind of opened up a few doors that I usually wouldn't consider. So from day rides, race day, or bike packing trips, the Santa Cruz Stigmata is really ready for anything. All right, so it was really challenging to keep bikes off this list, but it was inevitable because, well, we tested so many fantastic bikes this year. One bike that I really enjoyed this year was the Viral Day Reef. The pinion-specific titanium frame is built to clear 27.5 by 3-inch tires with a 120 millimeter fork or rigid fork. I put loads of miles on this bike and had an absolute absolute blast on it and I particularly really like those 27.5 plus ish wheels they were super inspiring and with the launch of the new pinion smart shift this bike certainly became even more appealing. One of the other bikes that missed this list but would certainly be in my top five or six bikes of the year was the Revel Ranger, a short travel full suspension bike made for long days and tough terrain like the Colorado or Arizona trails. The Ranger got a revamp in 2023 with a stiffer rear triangle, more tire clearance, and that universal derailleur hanger compatibility. So if you're like me and enjoy bike packing with some cushion in the rear end, the Ranger is probably one of the best options options out there. Again this year we asked our bike packing collective members what they thought about the bikes that we reviewed in 2023. We sent our supporters a list of all of them, asked them each to select two and tally the results. And if you want to become a member of the Bike Packing Collective to vote for these awards, you can do so by clicking on the link in the top right corner. The collective also has other perks including monthly giveaways, industry discounts, and the twice yearly Bike Packing Journal. All right, here are the three that came out on top based on the collective's votes. Another bike I tested this year the Atso Fenrir Tie is a highly versatile drop bar mountain bike or flat bar suspension corrected bike that can be built around 29 by 2.8 inch tires depending on the three position tuning chip orientation. The titanium version is a full two pounds lighter than the stainless steel version that we reviewed a couple of years ago. And I really loved this bike. I pedaled it over 500 miles on bike packing trips, gravel rides, and trail riding in Utah and Colorado this spring and summer. And so did most of the collective members voting it number one overall. So when we talk about classic touring bikes, the Kona Sutra is certainly in that list. And it's been around in various forms for nearly two decades now. However, they made some thoughtful updates to it over the last couple of years, including loads of mounts, uh, through axles, and room for 700 by 50 millimeter tires without fenders. So Lucas reviewed it this year and folks in the collective took note, voting it number two overall. Rounding out our top three collective choice is the Curve GMX Plus Tie. Inspired by Australians' long-rooted history with overlanding, the GMX Plus Titanium is designed to handle big rides through challenging terrain with their long wheelbase and ample tire clearance. Miles ended up testing this bike on a big Australian trip earlier this year and said that the GMX Plus is a great option for folks who regularly head out on rides that are clouded in uncertainty. All right, while there are always yet to be released bikes that we will get our hands on in 2024, 
there are definitely a few that kind of pique our interest that we plan on getting or already have in our hands to review in 2024. First off, the most intriguing bike for me is this Priority 600 HXT. For years, we've been getting requests to test the uh, 600X Adventure, but since they teased this bike, we really like the look of it. The new Priority 600 HXT is a trail-focused hardtail based around a 60-61 alloy frame and 140 millimeter fork, internally routed dropper post, and of course, the pinion C1 12 gearbox. It also has lots of mounting points and clearance for 29 by 2.6 inch tires, and it comes with the pinion smart shift. For me, is a huge upgrade over the standard grip shift. We're really excited to test this one out. Featuring some mesmerizing lines and a curvy step through steel frame design, the Crumworks chunk looks like a super interesting ATB with a blend of kind of old and new standards and room for voluminous 27.5 by 2.8 inch tires. We really hope to get a hold of one of these to test soon to see if it's not just the good looks. All right, so the new Bassy Coyote looks like another promising ATB style bike and Miles actually just got this and built it up. This Montreal designed steel adventure machine has plenty of rack and cargo mounts, clearance for large large 27.5 by 3 inch or 29 by 2.4 inch tires, internal dropper routing, nice frame graphics and colors, and the ability to run a rigid or 120 millimeter fork. On the heels of an excellent experience with that Stooge MK6, we really can't help but look forward to the next generation of the brand's other super popular platform. The V3 Scrambler should be out this spring and we're super eager to try one out for a proper comparative review and see how the Adventure Stooge lives up to the hype. And finally, the next generation of the Atzo Wojtek, I actually have the first generation, I absolutely love it, has a few new features that definitely grabbed our attention when we saw it on display at this year's made event. So the new Wojtek has some fresh new geometry, additional cargo mounts, and Atzo's new Geo chip system, which is super exciting. So this basically allows you to adjust the reach and the head tube angle on the fly. I'm really into that. All right, so that about does it. Uh, 16 standout bikes for 2023 and a few for 2024. So what bikes looked most interesting to you this year and what bikes would you like us to throw a leg over for 2024? Let us know in the comment section below. As always, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, pedal further.